crazy. Hi. So I wanted to do another video tonight because um, I did my hair. <laughs> I always have my hair up in ponytails because I'm, you know, a mom. I wanted to talk tonight about the chemistry of oils. Don't stop watching. Okay, this is really interesting. So we're gonna look at peppermint. So peppermint has a couple chemical constituents that make up the majority of peppermint. Um, one is menthol, one is menthane, menthone, menthone, and one is cineol. Um, and it's approximately 40%, approximately 30, 20%, approximately 4%. And there's other um, chemical constituents in there that are a good majority. Um, the interesting part is that every essential oil has between 50 and 300 chemical constituents. Now there's about three, five, six main chemical constituents that make up the majority of peppermint. And in my example, these three make up 64%. So what are the other 36% of the chemical constituents that create peppermint? Well, a lot of the times these essential oils and the chemical compounds within them are so unique and so intricate that man doesn't know what all the chemical constituents are. They know the major ones and they can actually artificially create a lot of the major ones. But the thing that's so extraordinary is the other 36% of peppermint um, are a lot of 1%, a lot of 0.4%. Remember between 50, there's 50 and 300 chemical constituents within peppermint. And I've only listed three major ones here. So the other small, 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 we'll call them 1% of peppermint, they are the things that hold the most power in the essential oil. So they create this thing called a synergistic network. The definition of synergy, for those who don't know, is when you combine two things, the effect of those two things summed up is greater than the actual addition of the two things. So this synergistic network doesn't mean that one plus one equals two, it means that one plus one equals 10. So that's where you're getting your power in the essential oil. That's where you're getting your therapeutic potential. It's in the 1% of the oil, all right? Anybody can Google the major oil, chemical constituents within the essential oil. You can Google men menthol and you can, you know, go there on Google and, and, and find out what the therapeutic potential is. But it's, it's the little percentages that really make the power behind the essential oil. So how do you make sure that when you distill an oil and put it in a bottle that you're maintaining that synergistic network? You have to make sure that you harvest at the right time. You have to make sure that you cultivate in the right um, soil. You need to make sure that you have a, a great seed. You need to make sure that um, when you distill, you distill at the right time, you distill at the right pressure, you distill at the right temperature, okay? And um, I think you guys have heard me talk about this little thing called seed to seal. It's kind of a big deal because Young Living is a 30 year, uh, a, almost a 30 year company, okay? And they have been in this business a very, 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 very long time. They own all of their farms, they own all of their distilleries. They are the only company that executes a seed to seal process every single time. Every other essential oil company outsources all of their plants and they do not have the um, the detail attention that Young Living has because they do everything by hand and they do everything to make sure that the synergistic um, network within these essential oils is maintained and not compromised and not adulterated. So that's a little chemistry of oils for you uh, and I hope your mind is blown as much as me. Bye!